Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Smojo and welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Thank you guys for tuning in to the episode and I appreciate it. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day and let's get down to some business my friends. Alright, so like you guys know last episode I was like hey we need to tame ourselves a new flying mount and then after that we need to tame ourselves a good ground DPS mount like a Thylior or something along those lines. That's what we're going to be doing today. Maybe not the Thylo part. But I definitely do want a new flying mount. So the flying mount that I'm going to be going for is going to be the Griffin. Now, as you guys know, this is my first time playing on this map and I have no idea where the Griffin spawns. However, I did play on Ragnarok before this map and I noticed that Griffin spawn in very rockety type of areas. At least that's where the Griffin spawn on, um, on Rag. So I know like the terrain that they spawn on. And last episode, we went a little bit to the east and we saw, um, we saw a volcano, right? We saw a volcano. And I don't know if Griffins are going to spawn there, um, but I do want to take a look and I do want to go on that adventure to see if Griffins spawn there, since that's pretty much the only like rockety type of area that I know of so far. Um, so we're going to be going that way. Hopefully we see some new dinosaurs that we haven't seen yet or even better yet. But hopefully we find a new base location because we're still looking for that. We're not high enough level to get the RG mount. <clears throat> so we still got a little bit of time. We still got a little bit of things to do before we can even start the relocation of the base. Uh, but I do want to go inside of this direction all the way to the east going the wrong way already all the way to the east and uh let's just see if we can find ourselves some griffins or maybe even you know just some scenery do a little bit of adventure see what we can find um see what's out there and uh yeah hopefully hopefully it's uh that is a very nice looking tronodon it was this one i know i like the red level 85 though i don't like the green beak that he has but i do like the red wings i think the red wings are lit um, but yeah, maybe we can even find some, some higher level, uh, just, just dinosaurs in general that might be of interest. These guys, by the way, I have no clue what these guys do. I just want to say that, um, let me know if they're special in any way. Cause I, cause I have no idea. This guy, on the other hand, what level are you? Level 20? Meh. Meh. We're going to need one eventually. Um, I don't want to get one yet because we, we can't even use the RG. To even uh you know make full use of that dude to get a bunch of stone and we're not our our uh, our, our base location you know what i mean so that would be a lot of stone to transport and i'm just not gonna be wanting to to really do that so we're just not we're just not gonna do that pretty much um but hopefully we can find some stuff get a new base location and everything let me get above the trees here above above and this map is really hikey crazy you know what i mean like it's a good map there's a lot of things to to take in and to to adventure out and about especially those towers that we keep seeing like i i want to say we seen like like there's that one i think there's another one over there um so yeah we're definitely going to take a look at those towers i think it'll be amazing especially if there's good loot in there even if there's not good loot in there just a sense of adventure you know what i mean that's really what i'm after right now is just a sense of adventure i really love adventure and I really love stamina, and I don't have a lot of it. Hopefully, there's nothing down here looking to kill something. Oh, there's a river here. Oh, we've been on this. Yeah, this is the same river that we flew up looking to see if it, like, ended up at the other river, which it didn't. Fun fact, it didn't. Um, But it was nice. <laughs> now we know. It'd be cool if beaver spawned on this river, though. <clears throat> That'd be amazing. That'd be wonderful. All right, I'm going to... Uh, we're going to fly for a little bit. Since it is a really long ways away. Hopefully, whoa. What is that? Oh, is this a bunch of Brontos? Those are not Bront. What are those? Am I tripping? Oh, those are, that was a Diplo and a Rex. Oh, is that an Alpha Rex? Not an Alpha Rex, but an Alpha. It's an Alpha Raptor, what level? I think it's at level 20. I don't know. I think it's level 20. We're, got, we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna mess with it yet. Hey, okay? we're not gonna mess with it. At least we know where it's at. Leave like a nice little mental note. But I definitely don't want to mess with it yet, especially now in this guy. We have quite literally no dinosaur that we could use to kill anything, right? We we got transport, we got future transport, and then we got berries. And you know what I mean? Like we gotta we gotta we gotta spice it up a little bit. Let's get some more stamina on this guy we gotta spice up a little bit which is exactly the reason why we're, we're adventuring out seeing what other dinosaurs are here look at that all white argentine bro i'll get some more stamina up here oh he's not all white never mind almost 
It's almost all white. So we got a 25, 50. It's like a third one in there. Can't really see them. Oh, they're fighting a Allosaurus. The white one looks cool, though. Even though it's not all white, I mean, it looks cool. I'm pretty sure they're going to lose. Pretty sure they're going to lose, but it looks cool. It's sad that they're pretty much all dead, though. <laughs> oh, what we got down here? A nice little droppy drop. Can I get some goodies? Goodies for me? Oh! That's actually not bad. I have, like, none of those, and I've been uh, struggling for storage, so... That's actually a really good cop right there. Not bad. Just berries? Okay, those are just flowers. I've also been looking around for, like, carrots and uh, potatoes. Just so we can uh, tame ourselves a horse. I feel like a horse would probably be better than our triceratops that we have right now. For, like, be uh, berry gathering and narcotics making and everything like that. I feel like it'd be way better. I just cannot, for the love of me, find berries. Not berries, but cannot find uh, carrots. Carrots or potatoes. I can't find any. I don't know why. I'm blind or something. I know they're here. I just don't know where they are. You know what I mean? But they're definitely here. Hopefully. But yeah, if anything crazy happens, I'll let you guys know. All right. I see you guys in a bit. So we're back at the swamp area, but we're not here for beavers this time, which is, ooh, there's a crocodile down there. Uh, what level? What level? 95. Okay. Okay. Sarko. Okay. 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 We're not here for you, but I did find this temple. Which, I've never seen it before, so I was like, hey, temple. What's that noise? What the hell is that in the water? There's a sack on the water for sure. There's a lot of things down here. But yeah, I've never seen a temple before. I don't know if there's dinosaurs in this temple. A lot of sacros around. I need some stamina, so I'm going to land briefy. You know, briefly land. Because I definitely need stamina, but look at the temple. No dinosaurs that I can see. Um, but I'm pretty sure there's dinosaurs on the inside. There might not be any on the outside, but... Yeah, this place is, uh, kind of big. Definitely some on the inside. I'm, I'm sure of it. I'm sure of it. But that's pretty cool. I didn't know that was there. Um, you know, places of interest and everything. That's pretty cool. So we got a tower. We got two towers. So we got two towers. We got the temple. I think there was like a castle looking thing that I seen one time. And we're, we've only adventured like maybe 10% of the map so far. So like that's a that's a good chunk. And look at this area, man. It's just greenery. I love it. Straight up greenery and then you just see rocks. You know what I mean? Look at all those dinosaurs down there. What the heck? Can I see them? No. There's just so much going on down there. You got the Tappy and then you got all of them. You got that guy. Another guy behind him. So much going on down here. Okay, maybe it wasn't that much. I think I was mistaking some of the flowers for dinosaurs. <laughs> like little, like smaller dinosaurs or whatnot. Maybe. But yeah, those are the two volcanoes that we're going to be going at. How far have we, we... This is the furthest we've gone, isn't it? Yeah. This is the furthest we've gone so far. But yeah, those volcanoes look crazy. I'm not sure if there's going to be griffins there, but... If not griffins, we'll, uh, we're definitely going to be seeing some um, new type of dinosaurs. Might pique our interest. Ah, oh, I've just realized. Okay. I forgot to pack tranquilizer arrows. We have 60 tranks. We have 60 tranquilizer arrows. We might have to make ourselves a mini base. I did bring a bed with me. Two beds, in fact. I did bring two beds with me. I mean, we got the large storage box. We could probably harvest some wood and stone when we get there. So we might have to make ourselves like a little miniature base when we get there because... Definitely forgot about the tranks. Definitely forgot about the tranks. We have 60 on us. I don't know if that'll be enough to take out a griffin, though. Level 85. I think that's the same one we've seen before. He traveled all the way over here. That's crazy. But yeah, I don't know if that's going to be enough to take out a griffin. If not, I mean, we can always just make more, but, you know. 
Look at that. Triple waterfall. It's like locations like that, I'm like, man, that'd be amazing to make a base. But then I think, like, how in the world would you make this a base? Like, like where would you even begin to even, like, make it a base, you know? Like, I don't even know where I would begin to make this a base. It just looks so good, like, naturally, like, just amazing. Raptors down there going crazy. Found our first island. Where is that, to the left? Hmm. Might be worth checking out in the future. See what see what's there. See what's there. I know in the uh, the reason why I want to live on an island um, is mainly because of taming. I feel like uh, I, I on my Ragnarok series that I did, um, I lived on an island, and there's a lot of T Rexes, a lot of Origins, a lot of just good dinosaurs, like necessary dinosaurs spawned on that island. They were they were, they were extremely easy to tame, and that's the main reason why I want to live on an island. Nothing high level here though. Nothing high level there. But yeah, that's a perfect reason to live on an island. Look at all these artisans. Where are those carrots? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yep, you're dead. Those are. Are they not? These are as well, right? Right here. Are these just regular flowers? Are these regular flowers? Okay, those are just regular flowers. Okay. These right here, though. Yeah, these are just regular flowers, too. Okay, 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 okay. Got a little excited. Tad bit excited. What about these? What about these? Look at all these different types of trees. Oh, we're not checking that out. Yeah, you got that. You can have your berries. All of you guys, all rainbow colored of you guys can have your berries. All of you. I'm just looking for carrots. And just carrots and potatoes, which I don't think you have any, so... We're good. Hey, we're good. You guys aren't following me no more? Hmm. I don't think those look like carrots or potatoes. Whoa! There's a lot going on over here. We got two Rexes. What level? 55. You look nutty. Level 100. I think that's the highest Rex we've seen so far. Level 100. And he looks really cool, too. Not gonna tame him, though. He's probably gonna live. He'll be here for a while. Not gonna tame him, but we're coming in hot on this volcanic situation that we got going on here. And there's a cave. Oh my god. That screams wyverns to me. I don't see any. But I kind of don't want to see any because I'm scared. So we're just gonna avoid. That entire situation. Level 50. Let's uh let's go towards the beach here. Cause if we need stamina, I definitely don't want to land here. We're at halfway, so we don't need any for like a good little, you know, decent amount of time, but we're gonna need some eventually. And I definitely do not want to land next to a Rex and its Carno, which we can land here actually. Look at that, that is crazy. At least we know where Wyverns are now. Um, well, I didn't see any, but I mean, you see a, a trench like that and it's all crystallized and everything. I mean, that's the only thing you can assume is Wyverns. Oh, it's hot here. I forgot it's hot here. Yeah, we're going to die if we go to this location because it's like mad hot. So we'll probably have to fly over above the water. Yeah. Hey, nice tail. Oh, wait. I thought that was a Bronto tail. Oh my god! But yeah, we'll, we'll probably have to fly above the water because I yeah we definitely can't go like over this. The only other explanation is to just go around, which is fine. Except when we have to land to get stamina. Let's see, if we get hot here. It's a decent heat. We're not. It's not the fireball. As long as it's not the fireball, we're good. We'll just have to land on one of these rocks. I'm gonna land right here. I'm gonna land right here. Get some stamina right here. All right. That way we can just fly right over this lava situation. I don't know about you, but in any game you play, if there's lava, don't touch it. You'll die. <laughs> 
In any game there is, man. Lava bad. Ark, Minecraft, like Terraria, lava bad. <laughs> you take a lot of damage, bro. Don't do it. Don't do it. It's never good. Never. Oh, it's hot. Uh, we can we can last a little bit longer. We don't have to land here. Is that another island in the distance? It looks like another. Thought I heard something. Did hear something. I don't know what that is. It might just be a sound effect. It might not actually be like a dinosaur. It's getting a little dark here, though. That's a little scary. Okay, let's say only here. It's, it might be getting a little bit deserty. Do you guys see this? Like this, this is like rocky sand. We might be able to find a thalacolio. If we can find a thalacolio, that would be wonderful, actually. It might be hard to tame, though, since we don't... I, I have all the materials for a trap for a griffin, but I have no materials for a trap for a thalacolio. Like, we don't have a trap for those guys at all, so... I don't know. It might be a little bit difficult to... tame one of those. If we do find one, because, I mean, now it's looking sandy, so... Maybe thalacolios aren't going to spawn. It's an interesting area over there. It's all rocky. Whoa! I've never seen one of those before. It's a magma dude. It's a freaking magma dude, bro. I want to see him fight something. I think they like shoot out magma or something. I don't know. Oh, they do. Oh, that's so cool. He's trying to kill that, kill that thing. Look at that. That is so cool. Rip the Anki, man. That is so cool. Let's let's uh not get too close though. I don't want to become his next victim. But that is so cool. We're definitely gonna spawn, not spawn, but we're definitely gonna um we're definitely gonna tame one of those. Hundred percent. I'm head over here for a little bit just because I see my people. See, these are my people. These are your brothers, Petty. These are your brothers and sisters. They're friendly over there. No friendly. <laughs> Over here, we're good. We're good, though. And I need a lot of stamina. Where are we right now? Okay. So, we pretty much just gotta, just gotta go south here. I do wanna kinda check out this area. Because it's, like, rocky and everything. And it could be a good base location as well. Like, it's plains. There's not a lot of trees. We got, um... My people's over here, so maybe it's not as aggro or dangerous. You know, turtles and everything. I'm not really seeing much, uh... Bad people except across the way. Freaking magma, dude. It's got a red drop over here. I kind of want to check out this red drop. But I also kind of just don't want to die. Oh, it hasn't came down yet. Okay, so we got to wait. There's nothing here, though. So that's good. Oh, look at... Is that a red drop? No, that's a white drop. Where's a green drop? It's a green drop. But look at the rock foundation. I love how... I love that. That looks cool. Oh, there's flat area over there. Flat area. That's not a bad base location. At least I don't think so. It's all flat. You see, on top of that, that's not flat. You know, it's like a circle, right? And it's dark. I'm going to get this drop real quick. Ah, uh, more irrigation stuff. We'll take it. I got a storage thing on me, so... Should be fine. Um, let's draw... The small plot. I don't want to be too overweight. I could draw most of these berries as well. I think that helps just a little bit. Oops. Okay, anyways. Um, let's, uh... I want to fly in this area. So I see metal nose, obsidian. So it's got metal, it's got obsidian. Not bad. Not bad, especially the metal. Especially the metal. Metal, obsidian, not bad. If it's got crystal here, even better. Even though you don't need like crystal like that, I still would love to just have some crystal. That sky looks beautiful. Really nice sky. What else we have here? On the top of the peak. 
What is that? Is that a T-Rex? No, that's an alley. That looks like an alley. Um, it might be a T-Rex, actually. Oh, it is a Rex. It's a level 50 T-Rex. Okay. So we got carnivores. Let's go. We got a lot of carnivores. T-Rex. Uh, Alpha dude down here. Was that Alpha? Uh, Alpha Raptor. Saber twos. Alpha Raptor. Yeah. So it seems like this side is just danger, right? And then that side is just like friendly. That's what I'm getting right now. I do want to visit that area over there since it's flat. This area just seems, you know, like mountainy, which I like. I kind of want to go to the top of that just because it's really high up. <laughs> just want to see what's up here. And it, it'll give us a, like a better view of everything, I guess. This is really cool. This uh, this side of it, uh, it looks kind of boring. It's really nothing. Just a bunch of flatness away from everything. So definitely not definitely not building a base there. I really like that flat area though. Where are we on a map? Yeah, that's like way too far. Okay. We're on the top of the mountain. We're not on the peak. Let's get to the peak. I want to be on a peak. Okay, we're at the peak, guys. We peaked. We peaked. All right, let's go back down. I want to go to that area right over there. Or maybe to my left over here might be a little bit interesting as well. But that definitely that flat area. I love flat areas. Like when it's like a mountain and someone just took a sword and like sliced it in half and just left the top. You know what I mean? Like I love those type of a uh, type of mountainous because it's like up above away from everyone else and it's flat. You know what I mean? It's like secluded. You know, I love it. I love it a lot. That way, dinosaurs don't really mess with you unless they're flying or something like that. Or if they just spawn on top of the mountain, which is definitely plausible. Oh, my God. Uh, alpha. Two alphas. And then the one that we seen earlier, which might be one of those. I don't know. Interesting. Okay, let's not go that way because we're low in stamina. So we're going to go this way. Uh, Actually, we're going to land here and get some stamina. We don't need to fly. All the way over there, but two Alpha Rafters, a T-Rex. Interesting. Might be good for leveling, though. I, oh, the red drop. Forgot all about that red drop. I don't know if we're going to make it in time to get over there. We can try, though. If it disappears, I'm sad. We can try. But so far, not a bad area. Like, everything over here is just peaceful. Everything on the other side is just dangerous, which might not be too horrible. Especially those alphas. Those are good levels right there, you know? So, you got look at the positive side. Look at the positive side. As long as we don't build a base where they spawn, we're good. As long as we keep our distance from them, we're good. And we got the volcano area over here. Easy wyverns. Easy magma dude. Don't know his name, but he spits magma. So, his name is magma dude. And we need to be level 60 to open this. So, I'm sad. I am now sad. We got Santa Claus. I don't know where Santa Claus is. I know I've seen him like one time, but that was like... <laughs> that was one time, you know? We might see him again, though. Possibly. That's why I want to build a base in the middle. If I build a base in the middle, I feel like I'll see him more. Get his drops and everything. Because so far, I've... Maybe... He's visited me like five times. And I just haven't been able to collect any drops. Which kind of sucks. What level are you guys, actually? Let me see. You're level 60. You are level 90. Hmm. If I could find me a, a high level one of you, high level Pteranodon, we're good. I'd love a high level one, because this one right here was like level 90 when I tamed him, so... Getting a level 150 plus would be wonderful. And there's a lot of them that spawn here as well. Like, look at this. This entire front part is just peaceful animals. Or dinosaurs, rather. Pteranodons and... Oh, oh, oh! Oh! Griffin! Griffin! Okay! What level are you, buddy? Nah, 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 nah! Don't hide from me! Just don't fight me. 
You know what I mean? Where the heck? Keep moving. Oh my. I cannot get a good eye on him. There we go. Level. He's level 20. Okay. Oh, look. Another Alpha Raptor. That's crazy. Okay, so we got a level 20 Griffin who's running away. So Griffin spawned here too. Interesting. We could get a good Griffin. It's from like farming this location. Tech Raptor. It's not Tech Raptor, but Tech uh, Parasaur. Not bad. The Griffin's to my right, so I'm just gonna pass by him. Oh, we got we got the oh low on stamina, low on stamina, low on stam. It's a good diverse like good diverse of uh, animals in this location actually. You got Griffins, you got the the Terror Birds, you got Dodicarus, level 135 Dodicarus at that too. He's probably gonna die, but he spawned. You got Rexes, Alpha Raptors, a lot of Rexes. Yeah, Trikes. Um, not bad. If only, the only thing I need is a good base location. Like, I would not mind making a base in this location. You got metal and everything, a lot of rocks. Not a bad location, I don't think. And we're right next to the wyverns uh, and everything. Yeah. We might be making a base here. If I can find a good location. Like, so I actually start building, which I think would be up above here. I think that part over there is just a little bit too low. But this is like high off of the, um, the incline, so. Nice little flat area. Oh, Rex. Oh. Rex is a little is a little scary with him being up here. I will be honest, but we can guide him off. Okay, we can easily just tell him to just fall off the cliff. What else is bad here? Uh, the only thing that I see that's bad here is pretty much just a Rex. Oh, two Rexes and the Terror Birds. So Rexes, Terror Birds. This wasn't as flat as I thought, huh? It's pretty much just only flat on this area. Um, I'm thinking. We do have islands down there. We do have islands. So if not here. Oh, they spawn horses. Horses spawn here too. Horses spawn here. That's actually not uh the the mega chops, whatever you call those guys. They spawn here too. So if not on top of here, because of the Rexes and the Terror Birds, possibly on one of those islands. Possibly. Let's look at our map for a little bit. Okay. So yeah. Cause we're still pretty much close to everything, so like that's not a bad thing. And it, like I wish this island right here was a little bit further apart from everyone else. Add like a little bit more thickness of water. Just a little bit. Um, but it doesn't seem too bad. I kind of do want to go up there though. I like the danger of it. You know what I mean? You can't be too safe, but uh, you need a little danger in your life, right? Just a little bit of danger. Not too much to kill you, but a little bit to get your heart racing. You feel me? This island looks like it's got pretty much nothing here, which is a good thing. Nothing dangerous here, which is a good thing. That area looks interesting. It's like a, a lot of planes. Okay, we might be settling down here. Not like uh, I think we're going to build our base up there, but as far as like taming the Griffin, and uh, getting like a temp base. I think we put the temp base here. Realistically. There's no evil dinosaurs nearby. And we don't have trees. We got trees over there. So that's good. Got rocks here. So that's good. So yeah. I think like just right in this area. We should be good. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and actually set this up real quick. Oh, sh Compy. Take the compies out. 
You need food anyways, actually. <laughs> this is not bad. You good? Okay, we're good, we're good. All right, so let's get you out along with both of the beds. Just gonna place you there and then we could just place the beds like pretty much right into each other. Why not? And then we could just put all this irrigation stuff in here like that. Alrighty. Okay. Um, I think we should probably wait till daytime in order to build our trap on top of there. Cause I do want the trap to be up there. Um, maybe I want the trap to be somewhere else actually. Cause if our final base is going to be up there, maybe not have the trap up there as well, you know? Um, but maybe we will have it up there. I don't know. We'll just have to decide. I do want to wait till nighttime or, or daytime, but until then I'm gonna mine up some stone, get a little bit of metal, get some flint, everything like that. And I'll check you guys back once uh daytime hits. All right, guys, it is now daytime or becoming daytime. So I'm going to go ahead and start heading over to this area real quick. Um, we collected a little bit of stone, no wood at all, because I just didn't go get wood, but we did collect a little bit of stone. We gotta figure out where, like, the hot spot is for these griffins. Um, because I only seen one. So we know where one spawns, but where there's one griffin spawn, there's, like, at least two others. So I also want to find out where those spawns are. If we look at the map, we're going this way. I think maybe on that backside, because the first griffin spawn was on the left side, if we go, like, this way. First Griffin spawn was on this way of the island, or this generalized area. So I do want to check on that side and see if we find more Griffins. If we can find, like, the generalized area where they spawn, we can find a good spot to build this trap. And then maybe we can make another mini base just for Griffin taming purposes of griffin -y or whatnot. Um, I think that would be great. What level are you, Mr. Dodickers? Level 95, we got ourselves a level 60 uh, Stego. And the T-Rex, we can't see anymore. I want to see what level that T-Rex was. But yeah, we definitely, like Griffin-wise, we definitely want to build on a higher elevation. Because we don't want any other dinosaurs interfering with our Griffin tame. Um, so, it would almost always, more than likely, be on a mountain. Like there, right, like right here, like building it like right on. Well, you can't see it because of big, big old heads in a way, but like right on there would probably be nice. Maybe even along there would maybe be nice as well. We got this little water situation going on here, which is really freaking awesome looking. Waterfall situation as well. Beautiful. Another waterfall. Hold up. That was a mini waterfall. Still looks nice. I didn't even see this part. We, we didn't even go over here. All right, we didn't go over here. I don't think we went over here. I like this area, though. Some trenches. Interesting. I'm thinking I'm going to get this purple drop. Oh! We got a... Are this, is that a sacro? Excuse me? Oh, it's not. Oh, it's a Maywing! It's a Maywing, bro. Maywing spawn here? What is nutty? Oh, man. Okay, so my game had crashed. Uh, and it didn't save like the last five minutes of gameplay. So I have to do it all over. But we're back and I found Obsidian. Which is wonderful. So this entire area... Not only has obsidian, it also has metal. It also has a bunch of different dinosaurs, which is beautiful. It also has griffins, which is like a top tier dino that we're definitely going to be getting. Um, and I'm hoping it has crystal. If not, I'm pretty sure I can find crystal in the volcano area. And you don't really need a lot of crystal for a lot of stuff. So everything so far just seems like a W. We just need to find a nice solid spot to actually put this trap down and get ourselves a nice juicy griffin. That is the question, though. Where is this trap actually going to uh, actually going to be? Where are we, by the way, on this map? Uh, okay, so we got a little bit more to go. I think we were over here where the waterfalls were. Okay, yeah, so there's that. Purple drop incoming. Definitely probably want to get that. Um, 
But yeah, we need to find a spot for this griffin. This area over here doesn't seem bad, actually. I mean... Yeah, like, this area doesn't seem bad. Now that I'm looking at it, like, actually looking at it... Because I know we passed by this already. But now that I'm actually, like, actually looking at it, it doesn't seem bad at all. Can you... Can I, uh, collect... There we go. Oh! Oh! Some apprentices at Chitin Gauntlets? We also got a Diploducus, uh, saddle. Which, we're probably not gonna use a saddle. But we got some Primitive Gauntlets, which is way better than the ones we currently have, right? What is this? 94 armor versus our 20 armor? Nasty. Uh, we get some Hypo. Uh, 15, negative 7. Okay, well, I mean, the armor's way better. All the rest of the stats are just like, bleh. But, I mean... The armor is definitely way better. So we could just leave that area as like spot number one to put down the, or even like this entire like mountainous, like as long as it's above the ground, no, uh, no aggressive dinos, we could just leave it as that area. So that'll be like area number one for the most part. Um, let's see here. I kind of want to go in this area a little bit. Let's see what's over here. See what's over here. Whoa. That's a lot of Tyranodons. Oh, we got Ankies. So we got Ankies, we got Carnos, we got uh what are those uh these guys again? It's in a pack. Dire wolves? Hyenas, hyenadons. We got we got hyenadons. But we can find Argies. What was a dino down there? If we could find Argentavius. We're solid. Raptor's crystal. Alpha Raptor, another Alpha Raptor. We got crystal. We got Aliosaurus. I'm hyped about the crystal. This place pretty much has everything. But it doesn't have Argent. Oh, we got Argies. We got Argies. We got Argies. Holy moly. And a decent amount of them, too. Looks like four. Four RGs, man. What are we missing at this point? What is that? It's just metal. We got metal, obsidian, crystal. We got RGs. We got uh, Dodicarus. We got uh, Ankies. We got Rexes. We got Alleys. We got we got almost everything. I don't I don't even know what uh what animals we're missing right now. We got the volcano area right around the corner. For wyverns and oil. I'm assuming there's oil. Well, I'm hoping there's... Oh, shit. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. It's not following me anymore. Is it? Okay, we got those things. We don't like those things. I'm glad he didn't hit us. I'm really glad he didn't hit us. That would have been really bad. But we got those things. We suck. But at least we now know that they're here. And know where they are. So we can just avoid them next time. We got griffins. I forgot to say that. We got griffins. I need to find another one, though. So far, we've only been able to find one griffin spawn. We got, uh, we got, um, we got, we got May Wings. That's a W. We got May Wings. We got horses. May Wings is a huge W. I've never had a May Wing before, and I definitely want to try one out. I heard that they're like the fastest gliders or something like that, so I definitely want to try them out. I got a chitin helmet. Ram cycle chitin helm. Pretty nice. <gasps> we got sheep. We have sheep, bro. We have sheep. That's huge, bro. Sheep. Okay. So we've already been over there. No griffin spawns over in that direction. So we've only been able to find just one griffin spawn so far. That's a little bit... Oh. That's a little sucky. Um... That's a lot of raptors, bro. Oh, my. That's a lot of everything. Yeah, a lot of carnivores. Lots and lots of carnivores on this side. Lots and lots. Water... Oh, oh no. I need stamina. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. They're not on us. I was not looking at my stamina, I will admit, but nothing is trying to kill us right now. So, we should be perfectly fine. Should be perfectly fine. 
you need more food. Yeah, we should be perfectly fine. I might have to kill something in a minute here just to get some food. Griffin, Griffin. Uh, that's a different griffin spawn. Okay, so we got two griffin spawns here. Behind the big mountain uh, is another griffin spawn. In front of, uh, in front of, like, everything up there is an additional griffin spawn. So we got two so far. I do want to try to go down that way. I, I know I've seen it from afar, but I never, like, truly went down that way. Level 60 griffin. Okay. Level 60. Not too bad. But that's another griffin spawn, which is really, really nice. Really, really, really nice. Um, I think for our first griffin, it doesn't really matter what level it is. We just need a griffin. Um, and then after we get our first griffin, I think that's when we should start killing off the griffins. Or like, you know, like trying to get a really high level griffin in. At least level 130 plus. We can also start taming some T-Rexes and Maywings or whatnot. I think that would be amazing. Honestly, like, this area might not be bad. Like, for real, this area might not be bad. Griffin spawn is right over there. You got the front griffin spawn over there as well. This area just seems like extremely peaceful. I'm not seeing any type of aggressive, except those guys. They they eat your items, but I mean, they're not too much of a pain. But this is like extremely peaceful, actually. Like it's so peaceful, I kind of want to build a base on it. But at the same time, it's like extremely far from everything else, so I definitely don't want to build a base on it. But as far as a taming pin goes, this is not shabby. Um, I think we start working on health now. I want to get up to 200 health. There's a lot of those birds, though, which is annoying. But maybe we can look past those. Look at him. Look at him. Is that the same level 60? Oh, it's a level 20. Female Dodicarus. That's a level 20. That's a whole different griffin. So I think that's griffin spawn number three. That we found so far. Not bad. Okay. Um, I think we make the trap right here. Yeah, I think we completely just make the trap just right here. Yeah. All right, let's go ahead and start this. I think I know how to make this. Uh. I think I know how to make this. So keyword is stink, okay? Keyword is stink. Um, so I know I need to have the foundation. So uh, let's make sure we line this up. Just, you know, general, general lineup. Foundation goes right there, right? And then we need to put these frames. It's like, boom, boom. And then we take this railing. Railing goes on this side, just like that. And then we take this hatch. Hatch goes up there. We take this other part here. Can we even do that? Oh, there it is. There it is. There, right. That goes just like that. And then finally, we get this door here. This door goes right there, just like that. All right, I believe that is pretty much everything. Um, so the, the idea is that we'll have the Griffin to follow us and we'll be on the Pteranodon and we'll sweep down into here just like this. Boom, just like that. But the Griffin, he's going to come right into that like middle area, but he's not going to be able to get out. Right. That's the that's going to be the idea. So the only way he gets out is the same way he went in. That's the only way. So he would have to go back out the exact same way, right? So the things that's pretty much trapping him in there is this railing. This railing is trapping him, so he can't go that way. Um, this 
door frame right here is trapping him from going forward more. And this over here pretty much traps him from going that way. And then once he goes through, we just close this door just like that. And then he's no longer able to go back out this way because that door is right there blocking him. So he's pretty much just trapped in there. We got a lot of open space to just like shoot him out pretty much. Um, so that's pretty much the general idea. I think I'm going to try to get that level 60. Actually, with the way my narcotics are set up right now, maybe getting level 60 isn't a great idea. Because we're going to need a lot more narcotics. Huh. Maybe we just get that level 20. And then we can use that level 20 to get a lot of raw meat. Because they're they're pretty decent at damage. Um, but yeah, we can use that level 20 to just get a lot of raw meat. And then we can just farm berries like the normal way of farming berries. Get ourselves a lot more narcotics. And then we go for like a high level one. Because I'm, I'm a little bit scared of, you know, we only have 59 tranks. So I don't want to shoot too high. I mean, level 20 is pretty solid area to be shooting for. In my opinion. I think so. Um, so I think that's what we're going to be shooting for. And we pretty much got that. Okay. Fascinating. All right, let's go ahead and do this. We already got the level 20 in our... Oh, no, 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 no. You guys are the only guys I don't like. The only ones. All right, anyways. Let's go ahead and get over to this level 20. Hopefully, we can aggro him. You look cool. I like the black, blue, and uh, red. I mean, black, blue, and white. Hello, Mr. Guy. I saw your friends earlier. They look pretty scary. But you look kind of friendly, you know? I'm going to have some sheep food for you. As soon as I knock you out. Oh, a little freeze there. All right, buddy, you ready? Come on. Come on, come on. Let me get a little bit closer. I got to not run out of stamina. And I also have to go into this pretty perfectly. Make sure he's all the way behind me. Just like that. All right, here we go. Here we go. Got to go in here just like this. Now he is stuck. And we close the door. Ouch. But now he's stuck. Suck. Hey, sir. Man, I'm pretty sure he can't get out now. Um, Now we just got to put you on passive. Then we get our trank arrows out. He's unable to damage the stone, which is really, really good. And then we just get to the shooting. 35 to the head. What do we do to the body? 35? Okay. Maybe I just missed the head. Or maybe I didn't miss the head. I don't know. Ouch! Your range is scary. I'll be over here. And I missed. But it shouldn't take too many arrows to knock this dude out. And I just realized they don't have that much health. So it is possible that we just kill him here. <laughs> That's not a good thought. Hopefully we don't though, okay? Hopefully we don't. We probably should have gotten ourselves some meat before we even attempted this. Because I'm not sure what their torque level is. Just going to wait a little bit before shooting him again. Wait a little bit more. Take like little breaks between shooting him. He looks beautiful though, I'll be honest. I love the bright red. It's like a true griffin look. The bright red. I don't think headshots do any additional damage though. I'm trying to look at his body like momentarily. It looks like he's fleeing already, which is good. But it doesn't seem like he's bleeding or anything, like any wounds. I'm not seeing him, so. Getting a little confident. Oh, no, I do see them, actually. I think you can, like, barely see them. Yeah, I think those are it. That little, like, blue stuff or white, whatever. I think that's it. So he's definitely low on health right now. But we have no choice but to keep shooting him. Okay, there we go. He's out. What is his health? Yeah, he was, like, a little bit lower than half, so. That's a little scary. Um, so we got to keep that in mind, but let's go ahead and get ourselves some meat. I'm going to put this taming tracker on. Okay. So we don't lose him. I'm going to be going for the sheep. Um, I roughly 
remember where they were. We don't need that much. Because it is, I mean, it is sheep after all. So, like, <laughs> we don't need that many sheep. Maybe, like, one or two we should be fine. Ooh, Trank arrows. I love to see it. Got a primitive bow and parachutes. I love the Trank arrows. Thank you. Because I definitely needed those. Definitely needed the Trank arrows. Oh, another griffin. That's got to be the level 61, though. More than likely, right? I didn't even see him. Yeah, that's a level 61. Okay, if I remember correctly, the sheep were to our right, roughly. I think it was past all of this, though. Uh-oh. There goes another one of those things. There's a lot of them down there. Yeah, we hate those guys, okay? We despise those guys. No sheep so far. It's fine. I think I see one in the distance. Yeah, okay, so we got sheep over here. Hey, guys. I'm not going to kill you with Petty because Petty's going to eat your meat, and I kind of need that. So, yeah, level 50. Nice little headshot. There we go. I love it. Give me the mutton. Give me the mutton. And the pelt, actually. We're going to need that for, uh, for when we go to the winter uh, biome. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. And Petty, you can have, like, that much. And we're overweight. What's weighing us down? Probably the pelt. We could get more pelt. So let's just drop that because we could definitely just get more pelt. Let's drop the parachutes. I don't see myself using those for a while, actually. All right, what's my boy at? Unconscious. We'll be there in time. Oh, can't wait to see my main wing. What level was that main wing? Level ninety, not bad. You look nutty, by the way. Okay, Mr. Main Wing, you look absolutely scrumptious. Okay, you look beautiful. Okay, you look amazing, May Wing. I love what you got going on with the red and blue. I like it. Caso, keep going. Keep going. Now, this griffin does scare me. Because <laughs> I know that uh, he's only level 20. Like, imagine trying to tame a level 150, right? You're going to have to put so many more arrows into it. But the health, man, it's the health for me. So, man, I think uh, I think we should probably just start making a base here. Once we, uh, once we grab this griffin, I think we should start making base. Not in this area, but over there where we said we was going to make a base. I think we should just make a base over there. And then we should get ourselves a, uh, a sniper rifle. Get some trank darts. Maybe like roughly 50 or so. Maybe upwards of 100. And then we start taming ourselves a better griffin. Because I think we're definitely going to need to, you know, do that for sure. Um, hello, my friend. I am back. Here is a lot of raw mutton. Wow. Okay. You just instantly tamed. I like to see it. We're going to name you. We're going to name you Big Red. Big, nah, 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 big red. Oh, many ancient myths tell of various depictions of the griffin over the ages. But what is never, I didn't know this was a thing, but we're gonna exit out of it. <laughs> I love it. Thank you. Oh, you're still talking, and I'm stuck. There we go. That would be a very poor decision. Its range of attacks makes it one of the most versatile predators I've Can I get out? If its presence alone isn't enough to intimidate potential hunters, it has the Okay, I don't think I'm able to get out. Um And this lady is still talking to me. <laughs> and I don't know why. It's momentum back into a rapid uplift. The idea of pacifying such a beast is nothing to scoff at. I don't know why I just put everything in here because I'm about to cryopod this dude. We're definitely about to cryopod you, sir. Uh oh. There we go. There we go. There we go. We can just take you out. Nice. Yes. Yes, lady. Speak to me. 
tell me everything you know about griffins, please. I'd love to know more. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's get some more stamina on you, actually. Level 160. We got a griffin. His name is Big Red Double B. You feel me? Let's go. Lowercase red. Level 29. I like it. I'd love it. Oh, man. I love me a griffin. Horrible stats because he's level 29. But this is a start to something beautiful, I tell you. What's your weight, actually? 308 weight. A little bit more weight than the... Uh, than Petty. So there's that. So yeah, now we have a good or a decent flying mount that can uh, dish out a nice amount of damage. Uh, you know, like a decent amount. He's he's still level 29. We got to keep that in, in, you know, we got to take that into account. He's, his stamina is, is actually extremely bad. But we have a griffin. That's the important part, right? That's the important part. We have a griffin. We can tame on this guy. We can do everything on this guy. So that's exactly what we're going to do. Uh, we are going to more than likely build ourselves the official base in this area. Um, despite all the creepy crawlers, we love creepy crawlers. We love creepy crawlers. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. Say hello to Big Red. You feel me? He's beautiful. Um, I appreciate you guys watching. Thank you. I'll see you guys in the next episode. You have a good, you have a good one.